it can be very harmful if deployed wrongly. And we don't have all the answers there yet, and the technology is moving fast. So does that keep me up at night? Absolutely. Did you know about the mind-blowing development of Google's new AI assistant? The development of software assistance is being accelerated by artificial intelligence, which may benefit users. According to rumors, Google wants to use generative AI to enhance assistant, a conversational interface for devices. The change might make using the internet and performing daily tasks more enjoyable and effective. Google has begun work on the redesigned assistant, starting with the mobile version of the product. As stated in an email that Axios obtained, the Google Assistant will use technology analogous to ChatGPT to improve its ability to assist, understand natural language, and do a wider range of tasks. According to tech analyst Rebecca Wetman, generative AI is the logical progression for technology like Google Assistant since it will allow AI to offer more intelligent responses than what can be achieved with conversational AI. From an org chart standpoint, she continued, pulling Google Assistant with AI makes sense. According to Ashu Dubey, CEO of Glean AI, generative AI built on the most recent large language models may comprehend user queries more effectively than search algorithms or other more traditional models constructed with natural language processing. He claimed that AI would answer queries with information that was more accurate and pertinent. Being built with generative AI makes it easier to understand user prompts and will make the assistant more efficient for the user. He continued, this stands in stark contrast to other tools that are based on older models, such as answer matching, natural language processing. Users will be able to have conversations that are similar to chats with friends because of Google's usage of generative AI and its natural language processing skills, according to Johnson. Imagine trying to unwind and listening to a personal story in a particular voice on your way to bed. Google Assistant now has that power thanks to generative AI allowing you to customize and personalize your own customized experience. From Maps to Google Home, it's like the ultimate personalized touch across all of Google's services. According to CNBC, Google intends to improve Assistant, the built-in voice assistant on the majority of Android phones, using the most recent developments in generative AI. There will be some small-scale layoffs and a concentration on huge language model technologies as part of the substantial reorganization of the assistant business that the world's largest search engine company has internally revealed. Text-based questions can be answered by LLM technology with insightful and original responses, and text can be converted to images. Piyush Ranjan, Google's vice president of engineering for assistant, wrote to staff on Monday that the company sees a significant opportunity to investigate what a supercharged assistant driven by LLM technology would resemble. In the email, Ranjan stated that as a team, we need to focus on delivering high quality, critical product experiences for our users. The great potential of generative AI to change people's lives has also been observed. Ranjan further mentioned that the assistant team has already begun to work on the LLM initiatives. Employees who are let go will have 60 days to look for new employment with Google. Changes to the organization's speech team, which is in charge of voice commands, are also a result of the reorganization. Formerly in charge of speech, Francois Buffet is now reporting to Sissy Xiao, who is in charge of Bard and Assistant. Google's Pixel smartphone and Nest smart speakers and devices both employ Google Assistant, which is available on Google's mobile and home products, will also see changes. Additionally, it is included in smart TVs, smartwatches, smart displays, and Android auto-enabled automobiles. Google is under pressure to incorporate the technology into as many products as possible due to the rapid advancements in generative AI. Bard was given priority when Xiao announced organizational changes in March. Ranjan, who had previously served as Vice President of Commerce, took over as the unit's engineering chief and now manages more than 1,700 full-time workers. Although throughout its seven-year life, Google Assistant has become better at understanding voice commands. It is still primarily robotic and relies on pre-written responses to support queries. The tool's interaction can be made more natural through generative AI integration. Earlier this year, Google was seeking ways to speed up its artificial intelligence research as it was embroiled in a fierce rivalry for AI technology with rivals like Microsoft and OpenAI. Therefore, in April, Google combined Brain, a Silicon Valley-based artificial intelligence team, with DeepMind, a research facility it had acquired in London. Four months later, the United teams are experimenting with novel tools that have potential to transform generative AI. The technology that powers chatbots like Google's Bard and OpenAI's ChatGPT into a personal life coach. According to documents and other materials examined by the New York Times, 
Google's DeepMind has been using generative AI to carry out at least 21 different types of personal and professional tasks, including tools to provide users with life advice, ideas, planning instructions, and tutoring hints. The experiment demonstrated Google's urgent desire to lead the pack in artificial intelligence and its growing willingness to entrust AI systems with important duties. Additionally, the capabilities signaled a departure from Google's past caution regarding generative AI. The company's AI safety experts had warned of the risks of customers developing an unhealthy emotional attachment to chatbots in a slide deck shown to management in December. Google was a pioneer in generative AI, but OpenAI's release of ChatGPT eclipsed it, sparking a competition between established tech companies and up-and-coming firms for dominance in the rapidly expanding market. With the release of BARD, enhancements to its AI systems, and integration of the technology into many of its current products, like its search engine and Gmail, Google has spent the previous nine months attempting to show that it can stay up with OpenAI and its partner Microsoft. According to two people with knowledge of the project who spoke on the condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to speak publicly about it, Scale AI, a contractor working with Google DeepMind, assembled teams of workers to test the capabilities, including more than 100 experts with doctorates in different fields and even more workers who assessed the tool's responses. An inquiry for comment from Scale AI did not immediately receive a response. The employees are evaluating the assistant's capacity to respond sensitively to inquiries about personal struggles. They were given the following example of a perfect chatbot prompt. I have a pretty close buddy who's getting married this winter. She was a bridesmaid at my wedding and my college roommate. Even though I have been looking for a job for months, I want to attend her wedding to support her. I simply cannot currently afford the ticket or accommodation for her destination wedding. How do I inform her that I'm unable to attend? The idea generation function of the project might offer consumers recommendations or suggestions based on a circumstance. Its tutoring feature can teach new skills or hone old ones, such as how to advance as a runner and its planning feature can help users construct a financial budget as well as schedules for their meals and workouts. Google's AI safety specialist had warned in December that following the advice of AI could result in diminished health and well-being and a loss of agency for users. They also mentioned that certain people who become overly reliant on the technology would believe it to be sentient. When Google introduced BART in March, it also stated that the chatbot was not permitted to provide any legal, financial, or medical advice. Users who report mental anguish to BART are given access to mental health options. The corporation is currently evaluating the tools and it could decide against using them. We have long worked with a variety of partners to evaluate our research and products across Google, which is a critical step in building safe and beneficial technology, a Google DeepMind spokeswoman said. Many of these evaluations are ongoing at any given time. The evaluation results in isolated samples are not indicative of our product roadmap. According to a July piece in the Times, Google has also been testing a tool that can create, modify, and recommend headlines for news articles. Executives at the Times, The Washington Post, and News Corp, the parent company of The Wall Street Journal, have received presentations from the business on the Genesis software. According to the documents, Google DeepMind has also recently been evaluating tools that could bring its artificial intelligence further into the workplace, including the ability to produce scientific, creative, and professional writing, as well as to recognize patterns and extract data from text. This could potentially make it relevant for knowledge workers in a variety of fields and industries. In the December presentation that the Times reviewed, the company's AI safety specialist had also raised concerns about the potential financial costs of generative AI, claiming that it would result in the de-skilling of creative writers. Other technologies under tests can create word and numerical puzzles, quizzes, and argument critiques. They can even explain graphs. Well, that's it for now, guys. What are your thoughts on the upgrades for the Assistant? Will it withstand the test of time? Do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, subscribe to our channel for more content.